In this segment of the video, what we would do, we would demonstrate um, how to straight line back a commercial vehicle, how to keep a commercial vehicle straight between two lines on the ground, including the outside mirrors, and back the vehicle straight up. That allows the instructor to know the fact that you can uh, properly handle a commercial vehicle while backing it up in a straight line. The next segment would be parallel parking. We would demonstrate the fact um, of parallel parking a commercial vehicle, how to actually put a commercial vehicle between the outstanding cones behind me. In the last segment of this particular video, we will show you how to dock park a commercial vehicle between the existing cones. we're going to demonstrate the fact that we could uh, back a commercial vehicle up into a straight line. What we do, we focus on the two cracks on the ground itself and what we're going to do, we're going to back this vehicle up slowly and um, making sure we keep the entire vehicle, including the outside mirrors, in between the two cracks on the ground itself. Remember during the course of this um, this demonstration right here, you always want to do it slowly. You don't um, rushing to do this particular um, portion of the examination is not necessary. You always take your time, make sure that you're being safe when backing up. Once again, the instructor are looking for the fact that you can keep the entire vehicle in between the cracks in the ground and making sure that you're focusing on the rear of the vehicle. here we're going to demonstrate the correct way of parallel parking a commercial vehicle. The very first thing you want to do, you want to get your vehicle about two, two and a half feet from the front cone itself. Measure out about two and a half feet. The next thing you want to do, you want to have this vehicle back up to the front cone. He's going to stop his rear wheel at the front cone. As he's backing up, he's backing up pretty much in a straight line keeping his distance from the front cone. As he get to the front, uh, the front cone, he line the rear wheel up with the front cone. He want to come to a complete stop. Once you come to a complete stop, the next thing he's going to do, he's going to turn his wheel all the way to the right. Turn the front wheel all the way to the right. Once his wheel is turned all the way to the right, the truck is going to swing around. And as the truck swing around, what he's trying to do, he's trying to get the driver's side mirror lined up with this cone right here. Once again, you want to remember to do this slow. An automatic disqualification is hitting any cone. So you never want to hit a cone. Now, as soon as he get this cone right here lined up with the driver's side mirror, where you can see it directly down the side of that truck, he come to a complete stop. He straighten his wheels out. Once his wheels are straight, he back straight up to this cone right here, about 10 to 15 feet. Now, what he's trying to do, he's trying to position the vehicle so he can look out the front window and see the front cone. Once he get to that position there, he come to a complete stop. Now if he look out the front window, he should be able to see the front cone on the right hand side, right there. You wanna see that at a slight angle, which he can do so. At that point, what he do, he turn the wheel all the way to the left. Now he's gonna come back. As he come back, the front end is going to swing around. He come back, he loses sight of this cone here, he automatically picks up the middle cone. Once he get in that position there, he come to a complete stop, 
turn the wheel all the way to the right. When he turned the wheel all the way to the right, he's going to take a complete pull up. And what he's pulling up to, he want to pull up to this cone here. He want to pull up to the far cone. Keep the wheel cut all the way to the cone itself. Without hitting the cone, he comes to a complete stop. He's going to turn his wheel all the way back to the right. As he turns his wheel all the way back to the right, he's going to position himself to be in the center of these cones. Then once he gets to that point there, he want to come to a complete stop that is parking brake, and he want to come within about 18 inches of this rear cone here without actually hitting the cone itself. You have just seen the proper way of uh, parallel parking a commercial vehicle from the passenger side. Now we're going to show you the proper way of uh, parallel parking a commercial vehicle from the driver's side. The technique is the same. The difference is now we're just focusing on the opposite side. So what we're going to do, the same thing as we did before, we're going to bag the vehicle up about two, two and a half feet from the front cone itself. We're going to line those wheels up, get them in position, and now we're going to focus on the passenger side mirror opposed to the driver side mirror like we did in the first tape. Here we are again, we're going to line our wheels up. As he bagged the vehicle up, we're going to stop him so his rear wheels are lined up with the front cone, about two, two and a half feet from the front cone itself. Once he get in this position, we're gonna to come to a complete stop. Once we're lined up, the front wheel, the rear wheel is lined up with the front cone, you come to a complete stop. And what we're gonna do after that, he's gonna turn his wheel all the way, all the way to the left hand side. Now what he's gonna do now, he's gonna get the passenger side mirror lined up with the inside cone, which is right here. As he come back, the vehicle turns around. What he's trying to capture, he's trying to get the passenger side mirror lined up with this inside cone. As soon as he can see this cone here, he come to a stop. Once he come to a stop, you can look down the side of this truck right here and see this cone in that mirror right there, which is exactly where you want to be. After he get in this position here, the very next thing he need to do, he's going to straighten the front wheels out. He want to get the wheels straight. Now the entire vehicle, including the front wheels, is lined up with this cone here. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna back this vehicle straight up to this cone here. You wanna guess about 10 to 15 feet. It could be a little bit more, but what you're trying to do is get in position so you can look out that front window and see the inside front cone. Once again, the entire vehicle, including the mirror, is lined up with this front cone here. Now, if we go around to the front side in here, where the driver can look out of his window and see this front cone right here. Once he's lined up there, then he's no, he's automatically clearing this cone here. So he can go ahead and make his cut. He can go ahead and turn his wheel. And you want to turn the wheel as far as they can go to the right hand side, okay? Once the vehicle is back in reverse, once he's in that position there and his wheels are turned all the way to the right, he still got focus on this cone here where he could actually see this cone out of the rear view mirror. Now as he's starting to come back, he's gonna lose focus of this cone here. It's gonna go out of his, uh, his sight. He would then pick up the middle cone. He would look at this cone right here out of his mirror here. So as the wheels are turned, 
and he's coming back. He know that he's clearing the front because we showed that he was clearing the front. He come back. At that point, he want to stop right there. He want to stop within about two feet from the rear cone itself. Stop there. Once he's in position right there, the next thing he do, now that he's halfway inside the parking space, what he do, he's going to turn his wheels all the way to the left. He's going to turn the wheel all the way. You don't want any play in the steering wheel. You want it locked tight to the left. He's going to pull up and approach this cone here. As he pull up and approach this cone here, He's straightening the vehicle out. Now once his wheels are straight like that and he's pretty much in between the two cones, position there, he's pretty much inside the parking space already. The wheels are straight, he's inside the parking space, but remember during the course of the examination, you want to get as close to the rear cones as possible without hitting the rear cone. You want to come within 12 inches of the rear cone. So what he's going to do, he's going to back himself up, position his rear to be about 12 inches from the rear cone and have plenty of space up front. Now that he's in position and he can see his cones on both sides, he can look out his rear view mirror and see this rear cone here. Only thing he has to do now is just back straight up, come within 12 inches of the rear cone itself, set his parking brake and he's done. He stopped right there. Proper procedure for exiting a parking space. Remember, exiting a parking space is just as important as entering a parking space. You're not allowed to hit a cone coming in a parking space or leaving out of a parking space. Now, what you want to do is, first of all, now that your, your vehicle is in position to exit the parking space, you want to make sure you're clearing the cones. The first thing you want to do, remember, you got 12 inches in the rear. So you don't have a lot of space to work with in the rear. So you just want to back up just a little bit, little bit, and then turn your wheels all the way to the right towards this front cone here. As you turn the wheels all the way, all the way to the right, approach this cone here. As the vehicle come forward, now, in most cases, the driver can come right out of that parking space without interfering with that cone. But you never want to second guess that. You don't want to take a chance of possibly that bumper catching on the cone itself. So you want to take a bag up. Bag the vehicle up. Turn the wheels all the way to the left-hand side. And then put the vehicle in reverse. And this way, what you're doing, you're assuring yourself that you missed that front cone. As he stopped, he turned the wheels all the way back to the right. And then he put, slowly pulled out the parking space. As you can see, he has cleared all cones on both sides. And he pulled straight out the parking space. Brake, hit your horn. <laughs> Once you set your parking brake and hit your horn, that indicates the fact you're telling the instructor that you have done, you have completed your examination. You have probably identified the way of uh, parallel parking the vehicle as well as exiting the vehicle. The next thing we need to do is show you how to dock park the vehicle to demonstrate the proper procedure of dock parking. For this particular segment here, we're going to use my assistant, uh, Jack Kalinske, over there. Uh, what he's going to do, in this case, he's going to demonstrate the proper procedure of dock parking. He's going to have the vehicle pull up. Uh, you, uh, once again, you want to stay within two, two and a half feet from the front of the vehicle. You want to line that nose up with the center cone. As the vehicle approaches the center cone, he should come to a complete stop. Once the vehicle is stopped, we want to pull out at a 45 degree angle. As you pull out at a 45 degree angle, what he's trying to do, he want to keep um, that front cone on the, on the right hand side lined up with the driver's side mirror. 